All right, we're gonna form this into a sphere. Round ball. We're gonna lay out our doily. And then we're gonna plop it and we're going to very carefully pound it to the thickness of a cookie. Now I'm working slowly and carefully. If I go too fast, I could get it really thin and I don't want that. I want a nice round thickness of your hand or cookie. This is pretty perfect. I'm gonna peel these two apart. Look at that beautiful texture. All right, now let's, let's work on our tail. I'm gonna get it in a round shape like so, and then you can just start bending the edges together. Getting that tail to go to a point. You wanna smooth it. Just get one little finger wet. Smooth those edges out. Now we can get some texture, press. I'm not going all the way down, just part way. Get some pretty lines in there. There's my tail. Now in order to stick, I gotta get my toothbrush wet and scrub both parts. This is the glue. And press gently, not too hard. Now let's get a little bit more clay. We're going to roll a coil, so I'm gonna make it long. Use my hands to roll. And now this is gonna turn into the mouth. What kind of mouth do you want? You could do a smile, you could do a frown, you could bring these two ends together and make a smile like that or a frown. I like a smile. So I'm gonna scratch and attach and press. What else does my fish need? I think it needs some eyeballs. I'm gonna roll two more spheres for our round balls. Do one more. And then I'm just gonna use my thumb to press it down a little bit. Oh, I like those eyes. We'll have to scratch and attach, gluing it down both sides and press. I wanna give this guy some pupils, so I'm gonna use the end of my skewer. Press it in and then Spiral it out. Now I can just smooth out some areas, make sure I have everything I need on my fish. And we'll let that dry, put it in the kiln, and then we can glaze it and put some colors on him.